Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mimri Karinga speaking. Thank you very much for tuning in once more. And if you are new, thank you for chipping in and checking out if you are golden oldie. I guess I, I am because you are. So today <laughs> I, I wanna talk about asking, you know. Oh, daddy, can you please give me Njipao Bengi? I don't know if I'm saying it right. If I'm saying it wrong, please guys, pardon me. I'm trying to be an Indian and I'm trying my utmost best. What I'm trying to do today is I want to talk more about asking. Like, why do you need to ask? Where do you ask? Who do you ask? Mm, all the things you guys know by now. I'm not an expert in anything I say. I only talk about things that I've experienced in my life and I also talk about things that the Holy Spirit leads me. So as you guys know already, I'm a Christian content creator. I talk most of my content is about God and I think I'm an advocate for God. Yeah, and that's just all about it. If you want to know more about me, you can just dig in if you, this is for the new buddies. You can just dig into my YouTube and then you'll see what this girl is made of. I think this girl is made out of fine wine. I'm feeling myself, guys. I'm feeling myself. But yeah, less of the jokes. Let's get serious. Today we're talking about asking. Asking, like, when do you need to ask? Obviously, anyone that asks is somebody that is in a position of wanting something. If you want something, then obviously you stand up and ask. You can ask for something that you want. For instance, if you want that guy to pop the question, you'll be asking like, when are you planning to pop the question? Or yeah, maybe it's a bit uncomfortable, but it's the 21st century. I mean, girl, if you want the guy to ask the question, you can hint a little bit. But if you want something, like for instance, you are a child staying under your parents' roof, and you need toiletries, your parents are not gonna know that you don't have that specific thing. So your parents would expect you to be asking them to provide for you that specific thing. There are some things that they know that it's obvious that they need to provide, but there are some things that we need to ask in order for us to receive that thing. So asking is, very important and there are times that we ask for things for instance my son a 10 year old david if you have watched a cook with me bake um i think it was a fish cake that we baked with pork belly if you want to know who's david you can watch that video and then you'll find out who david is but david came to me he's 10 years old he told me he wants a phone and yeah, I'm not saying that it is wrong to buy your child a phone. Some parents buy their um, their children phones at a very early age. And some of us would just want our children to grow without this net, without getting involved with social media. And then obviously there is time for everything and the time would come. So I am that parent that feels like, a phone is going to disrupt my son. But on the other end, you might disagree because you are a working mom and then you would want to be in contact with your child, especially especially for people that are staying in Ventuk. You are staying in Ventuk and then your child is to take a cab. You would want to know about the child's well-being and whereabout and probably you knock off late and you would want the child to obviously have a phone. So in my case, I think that my child is too young and my situation is not the same like yours. So baby girl don't want her children to have phones. So when my child asked me for a phone, I told him that first thing you need to earn the phone. Thing, we have a visitor right now. He decides that it's only me and him at home. So Mr. King decided he's going to join us. Say hello. Hi. Hi guys. 
Welcome to Kingi's channel. Say. Okay, today Kingi is has woken up on the shy side of the bed. So yeah. So I told David that you can't have a phone. You need to earn the phone. You need to earn the phone first thing. Second thing, I need to know that you are responsible. And then I asked him for what are you going to use the phone. And he went like, yeah, I want to play games. No, 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 Kinky, lift, just lift, just lift. Just lift, but. And he's like, no, I want to play games on the phone. And I was like, you can't be wanting a phone just to play games. But nevertheless, I felt like David does not need a phone at this point in time. Because, like, I'm, I'm having a phone. That one is our phone. It is our phone. We can use my phone as our phone for now, I believe. So sometimes we ask God things. And we want God to provide for us the certain things that we are asking but as human as you and i can be we are thinking but it is just a simple phone why is god not giving me that simple phone and on the other end me as the parent has observed that this phone is not good for david so obviously if i buy the phone for david David can be exposed to a lot of crazy things and good things. A phone can be good and also bad. Co phone can be educative, but I think as a mother, I'm saying that my child is not ready for phone because I know my child. So you can judge me, but that is how I feel. So that is also how God feels when we ask for things that no memory ain't ready for this one we need to pass girl we need to pass us something else that is sometimes how god handles us sometimes we <laughs> we are saying that no but the bible says that i don't have because i don't ask let's check in the book of james 4 verse 2 it says you want something but don't get it you kill and covered but you cannot have it but you cannot have what you want you quarrel and fight you do not have it because you do not ask god yeah. okay. as i said earlier the bible says that we do not have things because we do not ask god you and i don't have that phone because we do not we did not ask God for the phone. But in this other King James translation, it said, for verse 2, You lust and do not have it. You murder and covet and do not obtain it. You fight in the war, yet you do not have it because you do not ask. So the Bible says that we do not have because we do not ask. And here I am with the scenario that I came and I gave you. My son came and he asked for a phone. But yet as a parent, I decided, no, I ain't going to give this boy that phone that he asked for. Because I don't think he is ready. Now, if, I, if we can go to verse 3, it says... When you ask, you you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasure. Now, first we started with asking. You need to ask. You don't have because you don't ask. Now, yes, fine, you did the right thing by asking. You say, okay, the game is I have to ask. And I did. I asked. But I'm not receiving it. I'm not receiving it why ain't i receiving it the bible says we do not receive because our motive behind us asking the thing is not right that's why we're not receiving that specific thing that we are asking for 
it is always good to have a relationship with God. It is good to have communion with God. Then you know, like, um, if I have a problem, I need to come to Him. But once you have a relationship with God, you would also know what is it that that one thing that is in honor of God. How do you need to ask God? You see, I would all the time want to take examples of my children. Like yesterday, I put in some blankets in the bathtub and I told David to step on them. And then later I had to rinse them and go hang them. And David was stepping on those blankets and then King also wanted to step. And I said, okay, fine. I give you permission to go step. And then King wanted to bath in that water. King wanted to bath in that water where they were stepping their blankets. And I said, no. But the sun was hot here. Yeah. But I said no as a parent. Why did I say no? Because last week, all my babies were having flu. And they are just recovering from flu. And once I give him the permission to play in that water, we might go back to that place where we were in the beginning. And he might get sick again. And I will be sitting with a problem with a sick, sick child. So I, I reasoned in myself, it is not best for him, though it would be fun for him to have this experience of playing in the water and all that. He is just looking at the sight of him enjoying for his pleasure. But I, as the parent, I know that, yes, the pleasure is good for now, but it is not good for his health. And I said no. And he understood and he just went to step and then come out of the water. And I'm so proud of my son for doing that, for listening to mommy. <laughs> for listening to mommy, I am so proud. So is God. When we ask God for things, sometimes we ask things that is there for our own pleasures. We don't ask God for things that are going to give glory to God. So um, if I am also you, if I were you, I would be asking, now what are the things that are within the will of God that I need to ask that God would give me? I would not say specifically, I would not give you a precise answer as to say, like, ask for water, ask for milk, ask for it. As for a Bible, as for name you all the things. I would not give you what to ask for. But I would tell you that you would know what to ask for if you have a relationship with God. And you are spending time with God. And you are in communion with God. And you know your purpose, what your purpose is, what God has called you for. And you would ask for things that are in alignment to build the glory of God or to build um, what God has brought forth in your life. If God has created you to stand out amongst your mates, and for instance, if God has called you to stand out amongst your mates at school, if you are a school-going child at school, then God will provide for things that will make you stand out, like opportunities for you to be teaching, for you to be uh, bringing the word of God. Those are the things that God makes you stand out. Or amongst your class, if God has called you for greater heights and he has called you to be a president, obviously God is going to give you wisdom. And when you ask wisdom, he's going to give you wisdom and you're going to pass all your grades and you're going to push through. You're going to study and he's going to work on you. But it is not an easy process. Most of the time we want things that are easy and that are easily served. That is the issue that we have. We want quick fix. But the things of God is taking time. Because God has created things worth time. And it takes time. In order for you to ask God for also something that you want so badly. That is laid on your heart. You need to be patient. And you need God's timing. So you don't just ask something. Because the Bible says you don't have because you don't ask. It does not just mean you should stand up and ask for anything. You should ask for things that are within the will of God. And I cannot tell you in your life what is within the will of God. I would only tell you what I know. In my experience, I will tell you the will of God for my life is A, B, C, D. And if I need to ask, I would ask for this and this in this way. And then God would answer that in that way. But I cannot tell you what to ask because your journey and my journey are different. The only thing where we 
figure out the or crack the box is when we spend time in the word of god and by praying and in the communion with believers sharing the word of god with others and encouraging each other that is where you find out what is the will of god for your life what is your purpose before you go to even asking the important thing we need to know or we need to figure out is purpose in our lives we need to know what our purposes are and i think that we would I, I would I would want us to discuss more about our purposes later on in the year. But this, I think that we have come to the end of our asking journey. Let us continue asking if we do not have, let us ask. And if we do not receive, let us strategize and form a relationship with our Creator so that we can know what is the will of God for our lives. I think I've said enough. So with this, I just want to say thank you for watching up to this. If you have watched thus far, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not. Please do subscribe and like. And also do the magic thing of sharing it with your friend. Until we meet next time. Toodles. See ya. Love. Yeah.